Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at the Coxcomb graph. The Coxcomb graph looks like a twist pie chart, but it have more than one measure visualized on this type of chart. The first measure controls the depth, and the second measure controls the width. This graph is created by Globe Super Store Data. For each sector, it presents each region. The depths here indicate the quantity, and the width indicate sales. OK, let's go to see how to create this graph. At first, we open our data, and we insert a POV table. Here, we only need to use region, sales, and quantity. Region, sales, and quantity. And then we copy this data and create a new one to paste venue and we rename as sales and quantity and we rename this as coxcom and we save it and then we open our tab new and open the data. Here we open with an agency connection. And then we drag the Coxcom to here and we convert it uh, to customer SQL. Here we zero us to two head and we copy it union or paste and one hundred as two pad. Then we go to sheet and we use to pad create beans. Rename it as padded and size of beans is one. We can drag region to rows, padded to rows. To we can see that for each region we have 101 point. And then we create the first calculate field is index. This is index. Index is calculated with padded. We can also see the value of index. We drag index to rows and we can see that for each region it is from 1 to 101. And next, we need to create um, other field. The first one is max sales. And the max sales is also calculated with the padded. And we need to create another one is the max quantity. The max quantity is also calculated with the padded. And we need to create another field named radius. The radius is the um, quantity percent of total. And another one is slice size. The slice size is sales percent of total. So if it is multiplied 2 pi, it will represent the angle for each sector. And we need to create another field named agents. Here we can see the agent means the start angle for each sector. So for the first for the first sector, the start angle should be zero. And for other uh, sectors, the start angle should be running sum for the these sectors. For agents is calculated with region. And then we need to create x. The x Here we can see this is 2 pi multiply slice size. We have said that 2 pi multiply slice size is means the angle for each sector. 
and we divided the angle into 99 um, pieces. And this 2 pi multiplied edges is means the angle, the start angle. And index minus 2 means the point. Uh, how many point, how many um, pieces does this point occupies? And the x should be r radius multiply cosine theta. And this part is the theta and the cosine theta. This is the radius. So this is x and we duplicate. This is y. The difference from x and y is just sine change cosine to sine. You can see this is y is r radio multiply sine theta. You can uh, drag this um, field to the rows to see how it worked, but I don't do it here because of time. And then we drag x regions to color and we choose pentagon and uh, change the pedal to path and we drag x to columns, drag y to rows. Here we need to be careful the calculate. For x, it need to calculate with all, index calculate with padded, radius calculate with all, max quantity padded, edge region, and slice size, slice size with all, and max sales with padded. This is x, and we need to Edit y for y, calculate with all, index padded, radius all, quantity padded, uh, aging region, and slice size with all, and uh, max cells with padded. Okay, then we have this graph, and we can edit the y axis to 0. 25 to 0 0.25 and we added this is also from negative 0 0.25 to negative 25 and we can sort the regions with the sum of cells and we can we can hide this and hide the lines Okay, this is the graph which we needed. Thank you very much for your watching.